Hey everyone! Welcome back! I am back today! You guys, I am back today with the finale of Hunter x Hunter. I'm very emotional as you can tell. I just wrapped up the episode prior to this and I'm still just really emotional about um, how far we've come. We've been through so, so much with these characters. I mean, that is an understatement. And I'm so proud of them. And I'm just so happy with the fact that, like, we went through a lot, but we're turning out okay. You know what I mean? Like, I really did not know where everyone's story was heading at certain points. Um, but I'm very, very happy with the pre the previous episode that I just watched just filled my heart with joy. Um, so I am very excited. This next one is called Past and Future. And I'm wondering if maybe we're going to do some kind of time jump and kind of show like this is where everyone ended up. This is, you know, hey, Kirpik is off doing this. Leorio became a doctor and go made it to the top of the tree. And, um, you know, uh, kill one all good, but off having adventures. And um, I just, I, I cannot wait. I cannot wait. Um, but wow, I am going to miss this series. I can't even get into it because it has meant so much to me that like, I don't want to get crying before the episode. So I'll just kind of briefly go over um, the prior episode before we jump into this next and last one. You guys, before I do that, I do just want to say, if you're joining me early today, you know just what that means. It means you are one of my awesome patrons. Thank you so much. Oh my goodness, I cannot thank you enough. Um, and as always, I'm sending you up those big old hugs right through that screen. And if not, still thank you for joining me today. I'm glad you're here. I do hope you'll consider supporting me that way. The link to my Patreon is going to be in that description down below. And if you're joining me on those YouTubes, I hope you'll hit like and subscribe for me. Thank you so much for that. Um, so yeah, guys, last time was just like a beautiful wrap up of a lot of stories. Some of them I didn't expect. Like I, I really, I did not see the koala coming from anywhere. I saw the episode and I'm like, wait, what? And then I kind of started to put together what was going on that we were with, um, Kite and everything. And, um, wow. Uh, I, so I need to go back and watch that episode with the koala now, because that was way more important than I thought it would be. <laughs> but you know what? It's amazing to me how, um, you know, the, uh, the ants, and I said most of this in the ant arc, but, um, it's really interesting to think of how dying and becoming an ant changed so many lives. <laughs> it's a weird thing to say, but it's, there was some, I guess, particularly, I guess you could say, you know, it's a little bit harder to say that about like the, you know, the kids and everything who got eaten and, but you know, particularly with some of the, like the criminals, I feel like the ones who are like part of the criminal underground that got, um, you know, turn into ants. I feel like there was a lot of, um, I hate to say like growth or resolution, but I think there was in a way. So it's kind of weird. It's a, it's a weird thing to stick in there that like there was this horrible thing that happened where people got eaten by ants and stuff. But, but what did we learn from <laughs> It's like, I'm sorry. I know you're not turning being killed and eaten by an ant into an educational but then but then they did also was that like a brief kind of explanation of not explanation because we've had none explained but was that were they referring to them when they were referring to like the energy inside or was that supposed to be like soul or is it kind of part of the same thing I honestly don't know um but that was a really cool sequence that we had so that was fun um we got finally got uh kite and gone in the same room and had a great conversation there um Oh my god, the stuff with Gon and Killua is just where it just hit me in the feels so hard. And to think, I had never really stopped and thought about it. I knew that, I knew that Killua had been so influenced by Gon. And I just thought that was really like one of my favorite takeaways from the whole series was the friendship that they had. 
But to think of like how it quite literally and physically came back around that he empowered Killua to go and save Alaka and Alaka saved Gon. I, that's, yeah, that's all I've got to say right there. It's, uh, it's in the eyes. So, um, guys, I'm very, very excited and also a little bittersweet to wrap up this next episode, to wrap up the series. So without further ado, what do you say? We go ahead, we jump right in to the very last episode of Hunter Hunter. Let's do this. Wow. Going back to that where we all started. Oh my god, do you guys remember that? It was way, way back. The running from the hunter exam came in pretty handy, I gotta say. <laughs> Oh my lord, this boy. It's been such a journey. This is everything that's brought you to this point, hun. Even the painful parts. Oh, I was gonna say there's no way we're at the top. <laughs> no way we're you know, we just got to the part where what? Like a hunter license? Heck yeah! <laughs> also the cute little doggy. <laughs> okay. Yep, we know that they do have like rescue involved. Yeah. I wonder if the rescue team is- What? <laughs> No, Sari did not fall. He did, he, he leapt. He leapt. Yeah, this person said he's, he's, he's seen one other person like Gone, and that's Jing who made it to the top. Oh no. Aw, good job. Okay, nice. Yeah, they got a pretty good system there, I gotta say. And I mean, for what it is, it sounds like not that many people die. I mean, there are people that die, but like, I'm surprised it was not more, you know what I mean? Is that the top? I just think I'm just getting paranoid now. Oh, what's little, oh, it's a nest, it's a baby birdies. Hey guys, good thing going so good with the animals. Oh, love, hi birdies. Oh, we are at the top, thank God. <laughs> hey. You couldn't have just gone and like waited at a cafe around the corner, could you? You had to pick like the biggest tree in the universe. Were we really timing ourselves? 20 minutes! What? I, I said, said the, they're just, they're so, they're so overpowered now. They're so <laughs> That is probably like the best view in the world. Yeah, there was something that he was after. To explore. <laughs> They're like, ouch, we're just birds, you know. Really? Oh, 
Okay. Hunter is a good way to do all those things. That's a uh, part of the work that he's done. Oh, I wonder if some of these are the, like the friends. Okay. Oh, wow. Really? When was it? Is that a fact? So you too had friends that you cared about. Oh, wow. That was the real magic. And Go knows just how that feels. Yeah, because he had the same exact experience. He had this goal, and everything he did along the way was what really made him happy. Yeah, so now that you're... Okay. It's the world tree. Mm-hmm. Yep, they gave us all the stats. What? So it could be even bigger? Oh. Whoa. Like literally outside the atmosphere of the earth. Really? So, wow. It, it is but a young sapling. Jeez. Okay. I mean, that is, I, I was not what I was expecting him to say. What you can't see in front of you. I think Gon gets that very, very much. How about you and Gon find this outside of the world together? Okay. All right, we need the paperwork. Well, you have one person who would go. Okay, cool, cool, cool. That's the thing is like, I think he's learned. It's really about the journey not the destination. It's true. Oh, is that mama? Is that your mama? I brought you food, babies. What, what kind of, oh yeah, that's like a straight up whale or something. Yeah, I was going to say, what kind of a fish would you have to bring? Hey, we brought you something. We made a promise. Now we get to catch up Jing on everything we've been up to. Oh my God. Look at him like taking this in like a proud papa. You can't pretend you're not. Aww. They're bonding. Oh, daddy sent bonding time. Yay. I'm 
just so happy that they're together. Hey, guess who I met, Aunt Mito? She's proud. She's proud. Oh, <laughs> the bed, the bed. Oh, cause okay, finally settling that. Oh yay! Everyone's here. Hey guys! Oh, oh, wow! Oh, and they're nice. Oh, we're killing Alucard off in an adventure. We're all off having adventures. Leo, how's it going? How is the medical school? Oh, it's Kurvika! Hey, buddy, what you doing? How you been? Did we get all the eyes? Oh, oh, and we're, yes, we miss you. What? How? But we're, we're at your grave. What happened? Oh! Oh my god! That's them! That's where they died! And they were holding hands! We even got to see them one last time! Gone! You're so full of light and life! That's what life's all about! <laughs> that was beautiful. That was absolutely beautiful. And there's nothing to play after that, so I'm going to try and play another episode. Oh, why didn't I get my tissues for this? That was a rookie mistake. Oh, guys. I love the final message of that series. And in a way, it was not the final message because they've been building that up the whole time. Every arc, every step of this journey, we have made friends, we have made connections, we have, we have learned and grown because of the people who were put in our path. And that was as fulfilling, if not more fulfilling, than the actual goal. And you could see that in a really weird way with, like, almost every person on this series. Even Merowem had that experience. That he thought he was the king, he was the ruler, his destiny was to rule, all this. But it wasn't that. His destiny was with... A person very special to him who was put in his life. And you can see that with like almost every character, like not every character, but a lot of the characters we spent a lot of time with. Gon, certainly, Killua, Kurapika, Leorio. Um, like I said, even like in a in a weird way, like they even did that with a lot of the like villains. Even, like, the Phantom Troop, in a way, even though they were this group of, like, even though the things that they did and carried out were not good, um, they kind of had this bond with each other that was the most important thing. So you could even say... It even transcended, like, good or bad, you know? Even with the ants, we saw a lot of the ants, like, coming back or, like, remembering their past life based on people who had made a big impression on them and had, that had, like, broken through the barrier of, like, <laughs> their two lives. 
<laughs> was that the point of this whole series? I think the point of this whole series may have been that the important stuff is in the journey. Enjoy the detours. That is so beautiful. I never thought a show like this would end with such a profound message. That's not to say that we haven't had some really profound stuff along the way. But when I think about it now, I think that may have been the whole point of the show. And I love it. God, that was good. I just want to cry and eat. <laughs> I just want to eat and cry <laughs> at the same time. <laughs> Getting to see Gon and Jang just bond and share stories and... Oh my god, that's my stomach. I am so sorry. Like, really stomach at a time like this? A stomach, the stomach doesn't take days off. I'm sorry. <laughs> doesn't take PTO. It's always there. Hungry. Um, okay. Can we talk about the fact that they seriously dropped on us in the last episode? That there is very clearly, like, a world outside of this. And when I think about it, of course there's a world outside of this. Because we never bothered to like, or I never bothered, I say you guys probably did, but I never bothered to like question anything about the ants. I just assumed that like this was just like a new species of ant that happened to um, mutate in a way to where they could... I just, like, I never questioned it. I never questioned it. And, like, even, like, a lot, there's, there's been some, there's definitely been some signs that, like, there's otherworldly activity. <laughs> um, so, yeah. And now that I, so a, a few months ago, I had heard that the author of this series was maybe going to start working on new chapters. And now I totally see where you, there's plenty of room to, like, explore that. Um, I kind of thought that Jing and Gon would end up traveling together. But in a way, it kind of makes a sort of sense that they would go their separate ways now. As much as I would love to see them be, like, a father-son duo and, like, let's make up for lost time and everything... Um, I think that, uh, they will still, you know, another theme of this series has been that, like, we don't have to be in the same place to be bonded. And we've seen that many times over with, like, friends who have come in and out. Um, even with Killua, how, like, you know, Killua's gonna be, but we'll be back in each other's lives one day, but we're, it's okay to go off and have adventures, I think. Would have been cool if Jing had been around as a dad to go and grow up. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna let him off the hook, but, <laughs> but I do get, like, the mentality of now, um, you know, kind of always being bonded, but going off and having our own adventures and then coming back together and being able to to share all the cool things that we've done. Um, and Avril, like, I love that we got some resolution and, like, those, that's what, exactly what I was hoping for is, like, okay, so Leorio's doing his thing, Kurapika is doing his thing, he's got uh, the eyes now. I don't know if that was, like, all the eyes. It, it, it couldn't have been all the eyes, but he has a lot of the eyes now. He's doing his thing. Um, I love that they were, like, honoring Goto, and so, were they trying to say that one of the, um, there's a name, I'm, I'm so sorry, there was a name, but I can't remember what they were called, the, so I'm just gonna call them, like, the Fox people, <laughs> um, so they got one of the Fox people to take the place of Goto, or... Was Goto really alive this whole time or what? That part I wasn't super clear on. The I love that we resolved the bet. Um, 
Mito knows what's going on, and I think Mito is very proud. Um, the way that they tied it all back to the first part of the series where, um, you know, we have Gon going out to find his dad, and the first things that we find out about Jing that, like, he had to go off and find something. So we never did get to learn about the mom. I, I kind of thought maybe we would learn about the mom, like, at the very end. But then again, if it wasn't important to to go on, then. You know, there's a little part of me that, like, if they didn't look so much alike, I would almost even just say, like, was this just maybe, like, a child that, <laughs> like, a newborn that Jing just found and, like, decided to take in as his own? But they do look quite a bit alike, so that's probably unlikely. Um, but the, um... You know, it was beautiful to really just learn. But like I said, it it was highlighted here because when you look back, that has been a theme for so long that um, the life you make along the way and the friends you make and the people you meet and the things you do, the actions, the people you influence, everything, like that's more important than the goal, which honestly explains a lot and I think it kind of better crystallizes what I was trying to say a few episodes ago that like for a hunter your agenda is not even the top priority it's more than that you know and I think uh you know I was referring more to like the um the dedication and drive and everything kind of the attitude but it does kind of make a lot of sense that, like, it's the stuff along the way that really makes it. Wow, guys. That was just absolutely beautiful. I just loved it. I love this series. I think after 148 episodes, I, I think you probably know that by now. Um, but I, I have loved this journey. I really did. And the series in and of itself was kind of like that, too. Because we finally got to this point right at the end of the series where we met Jing. We met, But... The series was not that. The series was everything we did along the way. And so, like, it was a great way to sum up that as well. Um, I think the some of the stuff that we went through here, the, the themes of friendship, of um, the, the, stra like the strategy, the way that strategy played such a big role. And it was, like, not, it's not the power you have. It's not this. It's not that. It is literally all that you do with it and everything that your imagination can make of it. Um, it's a, it's really just a beautiful and powerful thing. And, uh, God, I just had the time of my life. I, I, don't, I think, I think by now, like, I've said everything I'm going to say. And that's just that. What a great series. I loved it. I'm always going to love it. And fortunately, because I'm still editing so much of it for YouTube, I get to kind of sort of rewatch it along with myself. <laughs> I, think I, I think I just put out like episode 88. So I still have a ways to go. Um, I'll be editing for like over a year. I wish I could edit faster. I'm sorry, but I'm, I'm not that. I'm not that proficient, unfortunately, but... Um, Oh, wow. Noise is going on outside. Sorry. Um, all right, guys. I will wrap it up and just thank you all for going on this journey with me. If it's really all about the journey and not about the destination, then that means that um, you have stuck with me for a very long time through this series. And I hope you've had a lot of fun along the way because I most certainly did. And I can't wait to watch another series. I do have some ideas about it. I'm not going to say anything here because I will put out a more formal like, um, you know, hey guys, what do you want to do? I do have some things in mind. And um, whatever it ends up being, I hope you will join me for that new series because um, everything fun about this, like the shows are absolutely amazing and I love them and you guys always pick good ones for me. But so much of what's fun about this is this, you watching with me and, you know, just having like a, a big watch party. <laughs>
So I hope whatever I decide to watch next time that you will uh, watch along with me. So you guys, thank you so much for joining me today for all those other days. And please, whatever comes next, be sure to join me next time. We will watch it together. Bye for now, guys.